Hello, and welcome to a video presentation on using similar figures. Here's what you'll learn. How to use similar figures to find unknown lengths. Let's start by finding the unknown length in the similar figures below. We need to find the length of side DF on the larger triangle. Since the figures are similar, that means that all corresponding sides are going to be proportional. So which side on the smaller triangle corresponds to DF on the larger triangle? Did you say LM? If you did, that's right. So we can set up a ratio for those two sides. Let's put DF over LM. Now let's replace the letters of our sides with their corresponding lengths. The length of df is unknown, but I can replace df with our variable x. And the length of lm is 6 yards, so I'll replace lm with the number 6. Now we need to create a second ratio using another pair of corresponding sides. And we have two other corresponding sides in these figures. DE and LN are corresponding sides, and EF and MN are corresponding sides. We can use either one of these two pairs. Let's use sides DE and LN, though, since their numbers are smaller. So let's go ahead and set up that ratio now of DE over LN. And again, replace the letters with numbers, and then make our ratios proportional. The length of DE is 12 yards. The length of LN is 4 yards. And now we can make the ratios proportional by putting an equal sign between them. Now we can cross multiply to solve for our missing length X. We know that X times 4 is 4X, and 6 times 12 is 72. Solving for x now requires dividing both sides by 4 to cancel out the 4 on the left, and 72 divided by 4 on the right makes x equal to 18. So that's our answer. The length of side df is 18 yards. Here we have a tennis court and a volleyball court, and it tells us the courts are similar in size we need to find the width of the tennis court. Now since the figures are similar, all corresponding sides are going to be proportional. We need to find the width of the tennis court. Now you may notice that the units are different on each court. We have feet on the tennis court and meters on the volleyball court, but that's okay. As long as the units within each figure are the same, different units between figures won't affect the way we solve the problem. Now let's go ahead and set up a ratio of short side tennis court, that's what we're looking for, that's W, to short side volleyball court, which is 9. And our second ratio will be long side tennis court, which is 78, to long side volleyball court, which is 18. Now let's make these ratios proportional by putting an equal sign between them. And the first thing we notice about the second ratio, 78 over 18, is that it can be reduced. Now we don't have to reduce it, but it can make the problem easier to solve if we do so. The greatest common factor of 78 and 18 is 6. So dividing numerator and denominator by 6 is going to give us a reduced fraction of 13 over 3. Now our proportion will be W over 9 equals 13 over 3. That will certainly be easier to solve. Now let's go ahead and cross multiply to solve for W. W times 3 is 3W, and 9 times 13 is 117. Finally, dividing both sides by 3 will cancel out the 3 on the left, and 117 divided by 3 on the right will give us our answer. The width of the tennis court is 39 feet. 
You can use information about similar figures to determine unknown lengths for very tall objects. Let's say you wanted to measure the height of a flagpole. Now a flagpole is a very tall object. It's difficult to measure without climbing on it, cutting it down, or renting a hoist to take you to the top. However, there is a way to figure out its height without even leaving the ground. The process you would use is called indirect measurement. Now, what is indirect measurement? Indirect measurement is the process of measuring a smaller object nearby and using the proportions of the smaller object to determine a measurement on the larger object. Let's look at an example with our flagpole. Let's find the height of this flagpole. Now if it happens to be a sunny day and we know the height of a man standing by it, we can figure out the height of the flagpole indirectly. The sun will cast a shadow from the flagpole and from the man. Now if we measure the man and find him to be six feet tall and we measure his shadow and find it to be eight feet long, we can set up a ratio of man to his shadow which would be six to eight. Now if we measure the flagpole's shadow and find it to be thirty-two feet long, we can set up another ratio of H, the unknown flagpole height, to its shadow. The flagpole over the shadow will be H over 32. Now we can be confident we've set up our ratios properly because both shadow numbers are in the denominators and the actual heights of our objects are in the numerators. Now since the ratios of similar figures are proportional, we can create an equation by making the ratios equal to each other. We can solve for h now by cross multiplying. h times 8 is 8h. And 32 times 6 is 192. Now dividing both sides by 8 isolates our variable h on the left hand side. And 192 divided by 8 on the right gives us our answer of 24 feet. So the height of the flagpole is 24 feet. Congratulations! You've learned how to use similar figures to find unknown lengths.